Good morning, you guys. Erin here at Eat, Move, Rest, and today we are going to take you guys on another food haul. So if you haven't already, definitely check out our Costco food haul. And recently a Sprouts went in pretty close to where we're at, so we did a food haul there as well. I'll link the previous videos below, but we've had a lot of requests for Trader Joe's, which is the store that kind of set the foundation for Dusty and I when we first went plant-based. We liked it because grocery shopping wasn't really something we were into. We were still like fresh out of college. So grocery shopping seemed like kind of a drag, but Trader Joe's is nice because it's small and compact. We set very high standards for ourselves when it comes to diet, nutrition, lifestyle. So we are doing an all organic plant-based food haul. A couple of quick announcements before I dive into making our smoothie and we hit the road. First and foremost, if you have not already, be sure to check out our seven day free video course where we teach you how to feel better in your body. If you really wanna dive deep and go all in, we highly recommend joining our Eat, Move, Rest Club. It's our yearly membership, which you can get 75% off your subscription for life right now. You'll get instant access to our entire ebook collection, our meal planner and recipe app, and our private inner circle community where we go live on a weekly basis to do group coaching, group workouts, group meditations, challenges, and more. Third, final announcement, the vegan bundle is here only through March 10th. So if you're still within the time frame, be sure to jump in and grab 150 plus vegan resources for only $49. Be sure to click the link below and grab it before the deal ends and the offer is gone. Breakfast is legit my favorite meal of the day because of this green smoothie and how good it tastes and how good it makes me feel. Not to mention it's all raw as well. This smoothie is like a salad in a glass. It's also like a multivitamin in a glass. You could eat whatever you wanted for the rest of the day, knowing that you got everything you needed in this glass. I typically put upwards of 10 to 15 ingredients in these smoothies, and they're all from whole food sources. I always add chia and flax for those healthy omega-3 fatty acids. I like to add in a little scoop of dulse flakes, which is a sea veggie, great for iodine, which is great for your thyroid health, metabolism. I also add in a Brazil nut, so one Brazil nut will give you more than your daily amount of selenium that you need, so that's the easiest way to get your selenium. Sometimes I add in spirulina, it's one of the highest sources of protein on the planet. It gives green smoothies a super dark, rich green. Finally, I'll add in all of our fresh goodies, which is usually dino or curly kale, as well as some colored greens and a green apple. And sometimes I also add in a stalk or two of celery and then tons of frozen bananas, frozen mangoes, and our absolute favorite USDA organic protein and supplements. Enter Sun Warrior. So I add about a scoop and a half of the Warrior Blend. The vanilla is our favorite. Love the Ormus Super Greens. So I usually add in a scoop of this. So many good greens. Another favorite I am so obsessed with is the Beauty Greens Collagen Booster Liquid Light. So this is cellular hydration. It has trace minerals. It's not only going to help hydrate and mineralize your body, it's going to help your body absorb more of the nutrients from the foods you're eating. So perfect addition to the smoothie. Those are my favorites for Sun Warrior. Oh, I also like to add in cinnamon. It's very warming and it's also great for metabolism and blood sugar. Ceylon cinnamon is the best. All right, you guys, we're at Trader Joe's. Wish us luck. We are gonna look for organic, plant-based deliciousness. We will show you what we find. Never felt so good. Okay, you guys, we made a killing at Trader Joe's. We found so many amazing organic fruits and veggies, frozen goods, canned goods, and everything was at a fraction of the cost compared to where we typically go. So we got almost everything that we're used to getting, which was a very nice surprise. So they have tons of organic options. Again, if you're thinking about making the transition and you wanna get healthier, you wanna go plant-based, 
They have a lot of great transitional options. We used to live on their Indian meals. They're so, so good. So we'll show you what we got. All right, you guys, so we came home with an abundance. This was not our first rodeo at Trader Joe's, but it has been quite some time since we've gone and done an entire food haul there. But it was like the first place we started going when we went plant-based, just because like I said, it's a small, compact place. You don't have to spend your whole day there. You can get in and get out and they have everything you need, nothing more. Overall, we were super pleased with the prices we found at Trader Joe's. Everything that you see here, all organic, like I said, super clean and healthy, was under $200. We were very pleasantly surprised at how much quality organic produce we could find. So we have the biggest, reddest, ripest, like firm, solid honey crisp apples. We've got oranges for juicing. They're not probably ideal for eating, but we did find some organic cuties, which the kids and I love to snack on. We all do. And these little snacking peppers. These are great with hummus, which we found a good organic hummus at Trader Joe's as well. Just a plain basic one. Cucumbers, which will probably juice. I was really excited about these organic micro rainbow greens. So a little micro green mix for salads, as well as super healthy kid snacks. So these are organic dried Atolfo mango slices. It tastes like fruit by the foot, but it's just organic mango that's been dried. And then freeze dried berries that were much cheaper than the other ones we were buying. We have some of these actually. They're so yummy. Brussels sprouts, which we love to just steam or roast. We got some organic avocados for salads and wraps. Baby Bella mushrooms, beets, which we'll probably put into a soup or stew. Cherry tomatoes for salads, sugar snap peas. These are fun for munching and dipping. The kids love them. Green beans, got lemons, which we just juice or put in our water and on salads, little baby carrots. We typically buy more berries than this, so we only got blueberries because we already have strawberries and raspberries. Organic carrots, celery. I like these multicolored radishes that have already been de-stemmed. The leaves tend to get really slimy, so I'm glad they're already stemmed. Frozen peas. There was a lot of frozen stuff we didn't need, we would have bought, but we already had plenty. Like frozen corn, um, strawberries, mixed berries, frozen acai, frozen mango. We already had plenty. Frozen wild blueberries, bell peppers. I love when they have these trios and they're like super big and super firm and crispy feeling. We always keep lots of these canned diced tomatoes, no salt added on hand for pasta sauces for the kids. We also got some lentil vegetable soup and vegetarian chili in a pinch. The kids always love these. We did pick up some organic black beans, even though typically we do cook from dried. It's nice to have canned on hand. Asparagus, we don't make often enough. These, another kind of more of a kid favorite that we don't eat a lot of, but the organic French rolls are pretty solid. We got three different types of pasta. We got a red lentil pasta, a basic Italian wheat pasta. So it's imported from Italy, which means it's more of like an artisanal old world wheat. So it's not going to affect your gut the same way that our wheat here would. And then we got a brown rice penne. So great options for gluten-free. If you guys do wanna buy store-bought sparkling water, this brand is the cleanest. Definitely check that out. Trader Joe's carries it. We also got some low sodium organic vegetable broth. Great to add into soups and stews. We also got a case of organic bananas. Also got some of this organic salad green mix. So overall, I would say, yes, we saved money. Yes, we found plenty of organic. Yes, they have plenty of transitional items. If you're not fully plant-based, but you're wanting to move towards a plant-based diet, they have great options. There was also plenty of things like rolled oats. They had Ezekiel bread, steel cut oats, healthy cereal options, hemp and chia and flax, all organic options. So I think now, since the boys are gone at baseball practice, I'm gonna make a quick salad for Liv and I to enjoy. Don't you want some salad? Okay. All right, you guys, so thanks for joining us for our Trader Joe's Organic Vegan Food Haul. 
If you want to see more grocery hauls, let us know in the comments below what store you'd like us to check out next. Also be sure to snag the vegan health bundle before it ends March 10th, linked below in the description, as well as our seven day free video guide to feel better in your body. If you haven't already, also consider joining the Eat Move Rest Club. It is growing, expanding, and it's getting so fun. So until next time, eat, move, rest your best, and we will see you next weekend. Bye guys. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> there are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.